And the Spirit Award goes to Jeffrey Wright, American Fiction. Thank you, thank you. And, and to receive this from you, Coleman, man, uh, is just a beautiful gift. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's funny, you go to these award shows, you kind of grow tired of them, and then you, you get one, uh, <laughs> kind of changes the vibe a little bit. But, uh, um, but um, thank you. Look, everyone in this category uh, does beautiful work. I'm honored uh, to be included among you. Um, the last time, or rather the first time that I was here at uh, the Independent Spirit Awards, I had the opportunity to meet for the first time Muhammad Ali, um, who, yes, give it up for Muhammad Ali, who, who was here with, uh, with his film When We Were Kings, and who, of course, was an absolute uh, absolute hero of mine and remains so to this day. So this adds to wonderful memories of this event. Thank you to Film Independent. Uh, the reason that our film uh, was independent at the start was because that nobody wanted to finance it. <laughs> Except uh, Ron Bergman, Ryan Johnson at MRC. Uh, thank you, MRC. Thank you, T-Street. And shortly thereafter came on board Alana Mayo and Orion and uh, Amazon MGM, who have supported our film and helped us find an audience with resources and energy that I have never before experienced in my career. So I am grateful for that. Uh, thank you to Sterling K. Brown, John Ortiz, Erica Alexander, Tracy Ellis Ross, my supporting cast, everyone who worked on this film. Your work made mine better. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everyone in Boston, the, the, the local actors there, and our smart, scrappy crew uh, who uh, one day when we were filming on a beach, uh, someone, one of them, raised a pirate flag above the grip truck. If that doesn't tell you what independent filmmaking is, nothing will. Um, uh, my son is here. Elijah, I love you. It's not that deep. You and your sister and my family are, are our family, are the sun around which I orbit. I am nowhere without you. Um, Uh, lastly, uh, Cord Jefferson and Percival Everett uh, wrote a beautiful story of a family and of a man um, facing personal challenges and cultural challenges, uh, some of which are as old as our country. Um, uh, you only need to look to the news out of what is what passes is our political sphere now to understand that this work continues. Uh, but Cord, what you did, at the very least, was to give us opportunity to laugh at the goddamn utter ignorant absurdity of it all. And I thank you for that, and thank you all. <laughs>